happy Friday, and thanks for watching Mid Morning. The country's newest high definition weather satellite is now in space. Goes S launched from the Kennedy Space Center yesterday. It's so cool to watch, isn't it? I mean, it's just something it's a rocket, rocket launch. launch. Yeah. I love it. It's the second to go up in a series of four that will help change the way meteorologists forecast storms. So mm -hmm. GOES stands for Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite. Oh. Uh, that's well what I done. call it. You well guys done. call it GOES. It's fine. I like to go with the formal term. Uh. Uh, this is GOES S. This is the second, right, right uh, mm -hmm. Kylie? Second to go up? Yeah, so we had GOES R now, GOES 17. GOES 16. 16, sorry. A lot it's of very different confusing. numbers. It's <laughs> like letters and numbers. GOES R and S became GOES 16 and 17. Yes, right, right? exactly. All right, so tell us uh, what is this one going to do? Uh, so this will monitor kind of the western U.S. and the Pacific Ocean. Basically, the weather satellites that we have up there now, even if they've been launched in the last five, six years, they're based on 40-year-old technology. So just like in anything else, technology improves. And this is giving us a much higher resolution image that allows forecasters to really get specific when they're keeping an eye on hurricanes, when they're keeping an eye on wildfires. Mm -hmm. Kylie, yeah. this one is over the Pacific Ocean is yep. what we'll get a better look of? Well, and when you're talking about wildfires, I mean, we saw the video this year of just the destruction that happened in California. And what this could do is potentially spot a wildfire before someone calls it in. So just think about that. Minutes make a big difference when you're talking about the start of something. Oh, sure. uh, when you're, you're talking about spreading of wildfire. A little bit closer back here at home, we could see uh, lightning data much faster and with that accuracy. And that could allow help us with severe weather forecasting. So you'll see how strong storms mm -hmm. are, how quickly they're yeah. developing. Uh, I think as someone who just consumes this information, yeah. you guys created and work yeah. with it as a consumer you have this idea that like oh everything's covered by satellite yeah right but that's not mm -hmm. true is it right exactly we have large swaths of the globe that aren't covered and even these I mean go 16 kind of covers the eastern third of the country and some of the Atlantic and we constantly have to have that shifted to get closer looks at different things but this has already been very helpful go 16 um, just in the last hurricane season really was able to give a much closer look at Hurricane Harvey figure out exactly where the eye was and that allowed um, responders to kind of get people evacuated out ahead of the storm with Hurricane Maria that moved over Puerto Rico. Once that storm wiped out the radar locally, they were able to use GO-16 data to continue monitoring that storm with a high-res uh, image. Kylie, when you guys look at this data, mm -hmm. when you look at the, is yeah. the picture visually different? You can tell like, oh, that's the goal. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, which has been really cool. Did we actually? No. I'm oh, well, right. we. We had an image that we were going to show you. <laughs> I guess we I didn't get it. it with uh, but yeah, absolutely. You can see the difference mm -hmm. when you're looking at it. And maybe not just someone who's watching TV, but for as forecasters, it's it's a big difference. Yeah. It's the difference between an SDTV mm -hmm. and an HDTV, right? It's just that clarity yeah. of image, and that allows you to pick out a, a smaller features that you might not be able Two to see. Two more to go. There will be four right. going up, and then it will all be uh, covered. Very cool. It's awesome.